For this video, I picked out two different multiple choice questions on radial um, electric fields. These were two that I noticed quite a few students of mine made mistakes on, so I thought we'd have a look. And by the way, there is just a little error on these questions. You might notice all these powers are at minus 18. These two should be minus 13, so I'm just going to very quickly change that. Now, the reason that this is often misunderstood is there is no equation for electric potential energy on your equation sheet, especially for radial fields. What you have to do is make one up. What we know is that the work done um, on an electric field is charge multiplied by change in potential difference. There's also an equation for potential difference in your equation sheet for a radial field, which is 1 over 4 pi e naught q over r. Um, yeah, sorry, q, yeah, sorry. I'm going to call this q1 and q2 because these tend to be two different charges. On top of that, what you have probably realized now is you have to use conservation of energy here. You have to use the fact that the work done putting a charge into that place in an electric field is equal to the electric potential energy that it gains once it enters that field. So to get to that electric potential energy, we have to multiply um, charge Q1 by the potential difference, which is this whole potential equation. So 1 over 4 pi e naught Q2 over R. Um, by the way, just to recap, um, 4 um, pi, of course, I'm sure you know that. That's the value on your calculator, that constant. This is the permittivity of free space, which is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Um, Q1 is one of the charges. So we're talking about an electron and a proton here. The charge of an electron is minus 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19. You do have to be careful of the minus and do notice that these answers are given in positive and negative. So do take into account of that. And then Q2 is, um, well, the charge of a proton, which is the same magnitude, but this time a positive charge. Um, by the way, charge is measured in coulombs. You don't really need to know that for this question, but just in general, just so you guys are aware. The value of R, which is the distance between them, is 1 times 10 to the minus 10. Now, if, you were, if you're quite perceptive, you might have the question, well, if an electron and a proton are that far apart, isn't R the distance from their center of masses? Or center of um, where gravity acts. That is true. However, the size of a proton, the size of an electron are so small that their radius has almost no effect to the distance between it. Um, if anything, it will be times 10 to the power of minus 30 or 31, something like that. So it's so small that it doesn't have any difference on your value of r, so you just end up using the distance between them. Great, let's now substitute all of that into the calculator and you'll get the final answer. So I'm just going to very quickly do that. So Q1 multiplied by 1 over 4 pi e naught. Um, Permittivity of free space, by the way, is 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12. And then multiplied by the other charge, which is the charge of a proton, all divided by the distance between them, 1 times 10 to the minus 10. And that will get you a value of minus 2.3 times 10 to the power of minus 18, which is option B. So here it was very important to include that um, negative charge of an electron, otherwise you would have ended up with a positive answer. Great. What we're going to have a look at now is uh, another question that looks at electric potential, and again, it's quite difficult. The electric potential, again, it's talking about point charge. A point charge, by the way, always points to a radial field. The only ever time you're going to need to use a uniform field is if it talks about parallel plates in specific. If ever it talks about point charges or planets, then you always want to think about radial fields. So the electric potential equation for a radial field, we've already introduced it. 1 over 4 pi e naught multiplied by q over r. So it says that um, at a distance r, the potential is 45 volts, whereas when the distance decreases by 1.5 meters, r minus 1.5 will have a potential of 50 volts. What is the value of r? Well, let's think about how V and R are related. Um, we're talking about the same charge here, so the point charge is constant. We also know all of these values are constant. Everything is constant. The only variables that are changing are the value of R and the value of V. How are V and R related? Well, they're inversely proportional. So when one increases, the other decreases. What we know about inverse proportion is you can replace this pr proportion sign with an equals k over r, and you can multiply r to both sides, and you can form the equation that the potential multiplied by the distance between them is always constant. What we can say is that the potential difference before 
um, the length is decreased multiplied by that value of r is equal to the potential difference after the length is decreased multiplied by that um, distance now between them which has decreased by 1.5 so r minus 1.5 you can now focus on expanding out the right hand side. So 50 times r is 50r. 50 times minus 1.5 is minus 75. You can make that equal to 45r. And I hope you guys see where to go from there. You just rearrange for r. So let's do that. Um, okay, I don't want to, but let's take away 50r from both sides. We'll end up with negatives on both sides, but it's fine. And then we divide both sides by minus 5, and we get r is equal to 15. So your value of r is option D, 15. So those were two multiple choice questions on electric potential um, and electric potential energy. Hopefully they made sense and yeah, be sure to like and subscribe if the video helped and hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching, I hope this video helped. If you have any tutoring inquiries, be sure to visit my website www.excelleneducation.co.uk. It's on the first link in the description too.